The new RPG game Star Wars Outlaws was first revealed nine months ago in June of last year with this gameplay in the background right here just showing us 10 minutes of what the gameplay is going to look like on the Ubisoft official YouTube page. Just before we kick start the video if you could leave it a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this that'd be much appreciated. I'm very excited for this game, enjoy the video. I've done my research, I've watched the new trailer that was released yesterday, and honestly, this game I'm absolutely buzzing for. I really can't wait for this. The only thing I'm worried about is, similar to Starfield from Bethesda, they might end up making some of the worlds a bit scarce, but apparently they have actually said that they have made these more vibrant than ever, so hopefully I'm going to be wrong when I say that, because I feel like every single planet is going to be all detailed, very high quality details in them, I cannot wait for this. So this game is the first ever open world RPG for Star Wars. Yes, we have the Knights of the Old Republic, but that is an MMO, so it's technically not an RPG game. It kind of is, but kind of isn't. This is being developed by Massive Entertainment Studios, who brought us Tom Clancy's The Division 2 and Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. Honestly, these are big boots to fill with this game, but I have confidence in them. I know trailers are always misleading and they look a lot better than the game actually plays, but from the gameplay alone nine months ago, I can't wait. This game is set between Episode 5 and Episode 6, so The Empire Strikes Back and The Return of the Jedi, which this is my favourite era out of the whole of Star Wars. It's torn between that and The Clone Wars, but I, I just like the OG style. I love the way the Stormtroopers look and Darth Vader. What else can you say? It's Darth Vader. I'd be very intrigued to see if he'll be in this game, seeing as obviously he is alive at this point. So in the lineup of the three main characters in this game, you'll have yourself, so it'll be K Vess. K Vess is a young thief from Canto Bright looking for a big score to set herself up in life. So next up, the character you have is your little sidekick called Nyx. Nyx is a Merkel, Merkel? Is it Merkel? Is that how you pronounce it? And Kay's best friend. He is her loyal partner in crime since she was a kid. And next up, you have ND5. I think this guy looks absolutely badass. He's a BX commando droid from the Clone Wars who actually works as her personal enforcer. And just look at him. He's wearing a cape, a commando droid with a cape. You can't be serious. And of course, like any other game nowadays, they have a season pass. Somehow they've managed a season pass with an offline game, but let's go and check it out. So straight off the bat, you realise that the season pass is only available for pre-order with Gold or Ultimate Edition, or you have Ubisoft Plus. And if we now look at how much these actually cost, if we go to pre-order, so it's going to be 60 quid for the standard edition. Go down to here and you can see that the gold edition is £95 and the ultimate edition is just a mere £115. Honestly, that is absolutely obscene. But for some reason, you can only get the season pass with two of these editions or you have Ubisoft Plus. So I probably will end up buying the gold edition and you get three days early access, which is quite nice. But anyway, let's check out what the season pass actually has in store. So obviously we have three days early access, which is pretty cool. So this is very interesting. So with this season pass, it actually has two upcoming DLCs. So I'd imagine you finish the campaign and it gives you extra missions to do. Hopefully that's the case. That would be pretty cool. I do like the fact that Jabba the Hutt has been included in this. I think that's really cool. So yeah, you play the exclusive Jabba's Gambit mission at launch. So just as Kay is putting together a crew for the Kanto Bite heist, she receives a job from Jabba the Hutt himself. Turns out that ND5 owes Jabba a debt from years ago and he has come to collect. That sounds quite interesting. I'm quite looking forward to that. Anyway, the next bit here, I thought this was quite strange. I saw this earlier and thought, hang on, that looks like somebody very, very similar that we all know. That's kind of cool, but at the same time, pretty strange. I like it though. And that is actually it, I think. So if you move down, you also get, obviously you get cosmetics. Every game gives you cosmetics. It's basically just the speeder you get and the ship you get, you get special skins for. Nothing really that special. And then it goes down to the news area. So there's quite a lot of content really in this season pass, which I definitely will have a look at. So something that Ubisoft and Massive have been talking about is they want to make the whole gameplay experience just very seamless. As you can see on the screen here, there is some really nice looking speeder action here and it actually showcases having gunfights on these speeders, which I thought was quite cool. Just taking a look around the outside of the map, it does look very nice. It looks colourful, it looks vibrant, hopefully everywhere you can see you can actually get to. 
And in this clip in the background here you can see very Red Dead 2 style how you can actually slow down time and select who you want to shoot and there you go bang for one bang for two I think that's quite cool because I absolutely love Red Dead 2 it's one of my favorite ever games and then once you finish that gunfight you now enter a town called Jaunter's Hope which is the next place that you go into in the story I'm assuming that initial clip was from pretty much at the start of the game but this place looks really nice I'm hoping that each of the buildings you can get into similar to the Jedi Survivor game seeing as every little planet in every town actually had their own accessible buildings and characters you can interact with but anyway we walk into the bar area and look who it is ND5 how cool does he look? So in very typical RPG fashion, you have interactions with different characters. In this case, you have an Imperial officer. And as you can see at the bottom there, you can choose to bribe and not bribe. So it's very sort of Skyrim-esque, I would say. So you can choose to get on people's bad sides, get on people's good sides. I think this is going to be very promising. So as we mentioned earlier, with the seamless gameplay that Massive Entertainment have actually promised us, and I'm not kidding, they promised it, so hopefully they live up to that promise, you can get in and out from ground to space in the most seamless way possible. So it's not like a loading screen and all of a sudden you appear in space. As you can see on the screen here, you take off in your aircraft and then you just go straight through into space and you can actually control your ship in the process which I think is quite cool so then it goes through the clouds which I'm assuming is the loading screen part of it and then you just branch out into space they have also mentioned with the space travel and space fights etc there will be hidden secrets throughout space that makes it actually more worthwhile actually being out in space and it looks amazing just look at how good the environment looks the gunplay itself seems quite seamless as well which i'm really hoping that it is so very similar to the predecessors for example assassin's creed far cry etc all produced by ubisoft themselves there will be a lot of different collectibles you can find around the galaxy each planet and space so i'm assuming there will be a lot of youtube videos of how to get every single one of these and i can't wait to 100 percent this game it's going to be sick so as you can see on screen there will be a lot of easter eggs for example frozen hand solo and of course look at the vibrant colors of this game different planets different hazy sunsets etc obviously you'll get to see the inclusion of jabba the hut the new trailer also shows sliding and different things like parkour and it does just look very diverse the way you can traverse around each map just creates so many different possibilities of easter eggs and just having fun and being more free and not feeling as confined in the world and I just can't wait. So that about completes the video from my honest point of view for the Star Wars Outlaws RPG game coming this August. I'm very excited for it, I will be pre-ordering it, but let me know your thoughts down below. Will you be getting this game? Are you excited? Do you think this will be a W or an L?